Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Math. Today's video is going to be about the number 11 and multiplying 11 by a two-digit number. I cannot believe it has taken me this long to figure this out or find this out. It's super cool. Now this is going to be a trick to allow you to multiply 11 by a two-digit number in your head or, you know, you might be able to jot a few things down, but this is not Oh, any in any way, you know, to make you not know how to actually solve this, like write it out. But this is just a really cool way to solve it mentally if you can see the numbers in your head. So here we go. I'm going to move that 11 out there. I'm going to bring this 11 in here. And what I want to do is just start off real slow and easy and then show you a bunch of examples. So let me show you this here. And then I have my trusty calculator here just to prove that everything's right. So let's pretend we're multiplying 11 by 13. So here's all you do. Take the numbers and just split them up like this. Add the two numbers together. So three plus one is four. And the answer is 143. Let's go to the calculator and check that out. 11 times 13 is 143. Okay, bam. Uh, let's show you guys another example. <clears throat> Let me get to where we might have, we will have to regroup here. So 11 times 75. Here's where it gets a little crazy, but <clears throat> if you can add and regroup, piece of cake. So we're gonna split the numbers again. S uh, seven and five, we split that. Now we're gonna add them. So seven and five is 12. But I can't put a 12 in here, just like you wouldn't be able to in regular adding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna regroup. We're gonna put the two here but we're gonna carry that one over to here. So that seven plus one is eight. The answer is gonna be 825. So let's double check that. 11 times 75 is 825, okay? So this is, again, blew my mind. I'm like, what? Okay, so let's try another number here. Let's go. If you want to see that regrouping again, let's pick a number where we'd have to regroup again. So 11 times 74. So we're going to split those numbers again. 7 and 4 is 11. So again, we're going to regroup. We're going to put that the 1 from in the 1's place from the 11. And then we're going to carry that extra 1 over to here. And the answer is going to be 814. So let's try that again here. 11 times 74. There's where we get the 814. This is amazing. I, I'm just, my mind's blown. I hope your mind is getting blown right now. So look at all these numbers I have. So I'm just going to randomly pick something here. Let's go 3 and 2. So this is one where we won't have to regroup. 11 times 32, split the numbers. Three plus two is five. The answer is gonna be 352. So let's check that on the calculator. 11 times 32, 352. Bam. So I think hopefully you guys are getting this. Let me choose the largest two digit number we could pick and let me show you now how this will work. 11 times 99. We're going to split those guys up. 9 plus 9 is 18. So we're going to put the 8 from that 18 here. Add 1 over to this 9, which makes that a 10. The answer would be 1,089. Let's check it out. 11 times 99, 1,089. So guys, I, I'm... I'm I'm speechless. I'm blown away. I'll do one more just because I like you guys. 11 times 56. I split the numbers. 6 plus 5 is 11. There's the 1 in the 1's column from the 11. I'll add 1 over here to this column, which would be a 6. The answer is 616. So let's check that out. 11 times 
that was 56. And there is the 616. So guys, I, I hope you're finding that very cool. I thought this was a very cool method on multiplying 11 by two digit numbers. Hopefully you guys found that fun, cool. You might use that sometime in life. Um, but it's a great way to show kids how to multi not only multiply, but add and regroup. This is a beautiful way to, to do that. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Math. I will see you next time.